My first uh, guest this evening is uh, clearly one of the most uh, respected figures in the television industry today. Uh, unfortunately, she works for another network. Uh, she will be uh, showing a, one of her fine specials that will be airing on August 2nd. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure now to reintroduce to you uh, Ms. Barbara Walters. Barbara. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Pleasure to see you. Thank you very much uh, for being back on the show. You know, the, the, the last time you did a show, it was uh, Jimmy Stewart, Daniel Travanti. Travanti and Marriott Hartley. Yeah, and, and I thought it was a fine show. And uh, not to slight the, the other elements, but I really enjoyed the, the Jimmy Stewart part of it. So did we. That was very so, nice. You know, the, uh, we're running out of legends, and he's, he's one of the last of, of the great. Sweet man, nice man. Yeah. That's, that's, when it's, that's when it all just sort of comes together and, and you realize how fortunate you are to be able to do interviews like that. Who uh, do we have here on the August 2nd? Is that the correct date? Well, the August 2nd is updated interviews with three of the, uh, what we say, are the hottest, most exciting superstars in the country, and they are Willie Nelson, Goldie Hawn, and Eddie Murphy. So we have put them together, and that will run, I guess it's a week from tonight. Now, we have a, uh, uh, I want to mention this to you. Our talent coordinators have contacted Willie Nelson and Goldie Hawn. On, Gold, on, uh, March, on December 8th, we wrote Goldie Hawn a letter asking her to be on the show. And many, many phone calls subsequent to that. Uh, is she not going to be on this show? Uh, on April 26th, we contacted Willie Nelson again on May 5th and May 6th. We then wrote to him on March 16th and April 28th. And we can't get Willie on the show either. How? <laughs> Now, no. as, you, as you said, truly uh, legendary big-time showbiz superstars, how do you secure these folks for your program? Well, first of all, I should tell you that they turned us down, both of them, for long. Keep trying. My first advice to you, son, is keep trying. Did, did they really keep, <laughs> yeah. they turned you down? Yeah, Goldie turned us down for about uh, a year. And Willie Nelson, even when we, when, we, when we wanted to do it, his agent said to us, he won't do it. I said, ask him. He said, I tell you, he won't do it. I said, ask him. And... Uh, I said, ask Willie directly, and then I have my tricks, and so that. Now, what would? <laughs> <laughs> this is what we need to I know, Barbara. What? Uh, <laughs> that's that's what, really not something I want to talk no, about. No, but yeah, I mean, um, what are the tricks? And I'm guessing you don't have to trick too many people. Are we serious? Yeah. You know, there are a lot of people who turn this down. It's funny. They mm -hmm. either do the show because they feel this is a chance to have people know them the way it really is, because we don't talk to the to the person and then talk to his ex-wife and the manager he fired 10 years ago. And so we do the interview and that's it. You know, what you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. So they either want to come on, like a Clint Eastwood, for example, who does very few. You might try him. You could get some more. Clint? All right. We'll add Clint to the list of, uh, of turned down. Sure. Because <laughs> they feel that they really will have a chance to, to reveal themselves. Or they don't want to come on because they're afraid that they'll have to reveal themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have people who will turn us down. and and do programs where they'll be doing a four or five minute interview where they feel they don't have to, you know, nobody's going to get inside. Willie Nelson we were worried about when we finally did it because we, he does so few. And he, we had heard that he was very monosyllabic, and I didn't know that much about country music, although I'm a big Willie Nelson fan now. And I was afraid that, I just, that he just wouldn't open up. He did, and he was terrific. Part of it, I think, is that we went down to his ranch in Texas, where he has uh, his own golf course just for him, you know. His own country club. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just for him. A golf course just for him? Yeah. He bought, he bought this area. He, he's got two houses with about nothing in them, it seemed to me, as I remember, except about 20 beds, I guess. Just, just for, for him? him. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but but this, the area had its own country club and its own golf course. And he uses it just for himself and his band and his wife when she comes down with the kids. Yeah. Takes you around in the golf, in the golf cart. And it's, you know, a marvelous place that's his his haven you know i saw this uh, the interview you're talking about and I, it's as you mentioned the same one where a repeat of that one and, and there was a period where you guys discussed uh, drugs and so so on and so forth that i thought was pretty interesting and and i thought well that's strange that the guy would uh, openly discuss that kind of thing he was sort of announcing that he no longer that's used that's right yeah. he said that he had stopped i mean he never used cocaine he talks about the interview he says if you're wired you're fired mm -hmm. never use coke but we were surprised too because I mean this is this is a man who always openly talked about uh, the other drugs and, and and the drinking you know the Texas yeah. outlaw as he's called and he pretty much said uh, 
I'm finished with it. All right, but there was a couple of interesting moments there. Uh, we'll discuss that when we come back. Uh, involving, he wanted, uh, I don't know, he invited well, you to do something, didn't he? Oh, uh, yes. All right, we'll find out about that and uh, much, much more. Here. Thank you, Paul. Barbara Walters is here. Now, can we even mention that I brought it up thinking that it was on the show, but oh, it was no, in an article. No, it was not, yeah, it was not on the show. Yeah, Willie Nelson, and uh, you, you explain that. Or, well, I, I liked him a lot. We got along very well, so we had a nice relationship. And I, he's, he, there's a lot of singing in the, in the, in the program, and, and he sort of did his own little private concert for us. And then we were talking about the, the drugs and the fact that he talked about it so openly, and he said, did you ever smoke pot? And I said, no, I never have in my life. Mm -hmm. you, re you really never have? No, I really never have. Yeah. <laughs> I've lost everybody out there. <laughs> they say, anyhow, well, I used to work on morning shows. We don't do those no, things. No, well, no, it's, uh, no, I don't think it's anything. It's not funny that a, a human being has not done that. Okay. Yeah. And he said, um, <laughs> he s said, well, you know, if you ever feel you want to, you know, you should, you should do it with a friend, and, and we could together. See, but we didn't. No. Well, well I, think, <laughs> I think you're probably wise. I think uh, Willie looks like he knows... About if I were there going to, to, I'd like to do it. With you. Would you really? Yeah, because he's a nice, mellow, sweet, yeah. good man. I think. I think it shows. I think that's. I think you feel it in his singing. I think you feel it in his in his presence. There is that sort of uh, look of what peace or tranquility. Yeah, you know, yeah. somebody else might say it's pot. I, I think it comes. <laughs> from let's uh, let's take a look now. A little bit of uh, the interview with uh, Barbara Walters and uh, Willie Nelson on uh, his ranch in Texas that you will be seeing August second. You always talked openly of, of smoking pot. We're doing it now. Weren't you ever afraid of getting arrested? Weren't you, uh, weren't you ever afraid of, of, uh, of anything happening to you, talking about it, smoking openly? Well, I was concerned, really. Uh, to say I was not concerned, I'd be uh, really uh, not too smart. Uh, but I also felt that uh, there was a bigger issue being made of it than there really was. But you were the big example. I mean, a lot of kids could say, you know, Willie does it, and Willie talks about it, and Willie's fine. Well, I think those kids, uh, they were going to try it, whether Willie even existed or not, you know, if they wanted to. I mean, they could always use me as an excuse, but I think they would still rather uh, me be honest with them and rather than lie and say, no, I never did it before in my life. Because you, know? you never did deny it. You always did talk about it openly. And... Well, yeah, and I used to drink a lot, too. Uh, I used to take pills. I used to do all those things. Uh, I don't recommend them to anybody, uh, young or old. Well, uh, we have to pause for station identification. When we come back, I want to talk about uh, Eddie Murphy, who was also featured on uh, the show on August 2nd. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. tell me about uh, Eddie Murphy. Well, we had done Eddie Murphy just a, just a little while ago, as a matter of fact, and we, you know, we all, part of our program is to go into people's houses and to see how they live and these wonderful tours and so sure. on. We went into his house. He didn't have one stick of furniture. We did the interview sitting on the floor. The only thing he had, in the bookcases, he had some books, and our producer, Beth Polson, said, oh, at least you've got books. He said, what books? Those were left by the previous owner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, have you ever seen anything like the success that no. he, he's 22, right? Uh, yeah, even when we did amazing. it, now, even when we did it, it was a very short time ago. He had done 48 hours. I mean, I'm talking about the last few months. And and the reason that we're repeating the and updating the interview is that we got you know such an amount of mail on it. Mm -hmm. I mean, people when 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 we did it, he he was known by the late night crowd, but not that much. Now here it is, maybe two three months later. Wow. People wanting to send him furniture, I guess. You huh? know, the house, <laughs> uh, he, he was in that house. It was, it's in a nice little neighborhood where the kids and the dogs and everybody comes up. Now he says that he, that he, that he can't even open the door without oh, people sure. coming up. But it's just phenomenal. I don't, uh, not that I've been in show business all my life, but I'd never heard of anybody that hitting fast. once with a, yeah. a movie and then coming back six months later and just doubling the impact. But he is so kind of nice and charming and nouveau in, in the best mm -hmm. way. I mean, he was wearing far more jewelry than I. But, I mean, he's got a, a big watch here and the ring yeah. and the thing. and the, It's all sort of, it's, it's, it's cute and it's fun and it's, and it's, it's likable. You, yeah. You're with him. You want him to win. Do you, do you get the feeling that, uh, that at 22, everything's okay for him? Because uh, uh, in that circumstance, people at 22 may be looking... Yeah, but he, he talks about this. I mean, he's worried about keeping his balance. And yeah. he says, you know, you've you got too many people saying yes all the time. And it's why he wants to live near his parents, because he goes home and they say to him, you know, big deal, empty the garbage. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally. But then, you know, you do sit and you think, what, 22, what happens at 
32, 42. Where yeah. do you go when you're that big now? Yeah. Except he's a sane young guy. I mean, we were talking about drugs, and he says, you know, he doesn't, you know, he, he doesn't, you, you all know this, I and mean, he doesn't you know, take drugs, and he doesn't take alcohol, and he says, look, I, I want this to, I, I feel it's important that people know that you can be high and have fun without it. And yet he does it, in, and not in a moralistic way. He's a good kid. Yeah. Uh, you're a good kid, too, as you're the saying goes. Uh, listen, Barbara, who, who, who are we leaving out of the show? We covered uh, Goldie Hawn. Remember Eddie, Goldie Hawn? You tried oh, yeah. April 23rd, right. 26th. First. Oh, that's right. Sure, Goldie Hawn. All right. Uh, it's a good show. It's a good show. And uh, nice to see you again. Thanks it's very much for being you. here. Have Ladies and gentlemen, time. Barbara Walters. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think you can leave, too. Thanks, Barbara. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice, uh, a very nice woman. Uh, yeah.